हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी कॉन्सी गॉर्म पिट बाय सॉर ऑफ ऑल पेयरिंग्स इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन टू जीरो इंडेक्स इंटीजर हाय नंबर्स वन नंबर्स टू एज यू कैन सी यू आर गिवन नंबर्स वन नंबर्स टू बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एज द वर्ड जॉर हैज केम इन एज द वर्ड बिटवाइज हैज केम इन ऑब्वियसली आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट यू मस्ट हैव वॉश्ड बिट मैनिपुलेशन क्रैश कोर्स इफ नॉट देन ओके इट्स नॉट माय इशू You should have watched it. Just it will give you everything you want to know about bit manipulation. Coming on back, it simply says that you are given two integers i, numbers one, numbers two, considering consisting of non-negative integers. So okay, all are zero or positive integers. As you can see, zero or positive integers. We can also see that in constraints, all are zero or positive integers. Now there exist. Let's change a color, which is you can see. Ah, uh, there exists another array, numbers three. Which contains the bitwise or of all pairings of integers between numbers one and numbers two. So they are saying, give me all pairings of integer between numbers one and numbers two, which means get this number, pair it with every other number, and again when I say pair, bitwise or of all pairings of integers between numbers one and numbers two, which means two or ten, two or two, two again this two or ten, this two or two, this two or five. And this two zero zero okay, and then another is okay one again paired with every other number, which means one zero ten, one zero two, one zero five, one zero zero. Then last one three three zero ten, three zero ten, three zero two, three zero five, three zero zero. And then when this is done, every integer in numbers one is paired with every integer in numbers two exactly once. Right. This is we have paired exactly once. Ultimately, this is ultimately. If I just showcase, this is my numbers three. Numbers three. I have to return the bitwise or of all bitwise or of all integers in numbers three. Ultimately, as a result, I have to return the bitwise or, which means take the first element two or ten, or the next one, or two or two, then or the next one, or two or five. Then solve the next one, zor two zor zero, and so on and so forth. Cool. This is my final answer. Obviously, if I say a brute force approach, it will say that I have n elements. I am pairing it up with m elements on the right side. It will be a n into m. I will get all the n into m pairs. Just simply doing a linear traversal on those n into m pairs, I will get my final result answer. Complexity will be O of n into m, which will give me T L E. Oh, now what to do? Obviously, they are doing they are doing a ZOR. Let's use crash course and see if we have learned any ZOR pattern. Yes, we have learned a very basic nice ZOR pattern. That ZOR pattern says that A ZOR A is zero, which means ZOR with the same number is zero, and then A ZOR zero is A. ZOR of any number with zero is the same number itself. Using these two, let's figure out what is happening here. Okay, let's take only first first element nums one nums one two, and then when we are pairing it up with two two sorry ten two five five and zero, what actually is happening? Let's only focus on the first row. So it becomes two or ten. Okay, two or two. Okay, two or five. Okay, two or zero. Okay, forget about these ones. Because ultimately these are being zord, so ultimately in the end the a zord will come here also. So technically, imagine all of them as individual numbers. So what's happening here? What's happening here is that two, 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 two is coming how many times? This specific two is coming four times. Again, this two is coming four times. So can't I simply say that? This impact I can simply say as two zor four times, and four is nothing but m. This is m. Same way when one one is also zor one is also zor four times. I can again say zor again. This is two four times being zor, and same way I can say one is again four times. Again, this is m. M times being zord. Same way three, three is again four times being zord, which is again M. Now you have 
got these numbers okay one is odd four times three is odd four times but did you miss something obviously you missed 10 2 5 0 you will simply realize that 10 2 5 0 if i say 10 2 2 5 zor 0 it is coming how many times obviously three times because this is what you are doing a zor here it is coming how many times the number of times you had n so i can say that this zor value is actually coming up three times and this is nothing but n so can't i simply say that zor of these values so zor of these values is coming m times zor of these values is coming n times so 2 zor 1 zor 3 will come n m times m is nothing but 4 here and zor of 10 zor 2 zor 5 zor 0 it is coming n times n is nothing but 3 n is nothing but 3 so if i tell you any zor value let's say it it results in a zor of after doing a zor let's say it, it results in a value y y being zor even number of times will give me a zero any number zor even number of times will give me a zero why because this will give me a zero this will give me a zero and zero zor zero is zero so any number zor even number of times will give me a zero any number zor odd number of times obviously will give me a number itself so what i realized from here is that i i, I will let's say get some value why after doing a zor it is even number of times i have to do a zor again thus ultimately it will give me a zero only but for this one whatever zor value i get let's say we get a value of y but because it is repeated n number of times n is 3 in this case thus my ultimate value will be y only so my y is nothing but 10 zor 2 zor 5 zor 0 if i do a zor it will be 1 1 uh, no 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 and then 0 if i do a zor 1 0 1 1 it will be a 8 4 1 13 as an answer cool that was a simple observation case that how you can see what is happening to each individual element here cool now let's see the code it's very simple exactly same as what we saw we just have to do one thing we have to find zor 1 zor 1 is the zor of all elements of nums 1 zor 2 is nothing but the zor of all elements of nums 2 then my zor 1 will impact the answer if the m length m is odd zor 2 will impact the answer if the length n is odd so firstly if the length m or i should say the length of nums 2 is odd then i will do a zor of nums 1 if the length of nums 1 is odd then i will do a zor of nums 2 like zor of nums 2 and ultimately you know that uh, ultimately everything is being zored with each other so if let's say both of the length would have been odd then i will do a zor of both of them like y from here and y from here so ultimately i will do a zor of both of them and thus ultimately get my answer as you can simply see you iterated on the input array once input array once thus time will be o of n plus m you are not using any extra array so space will be o of one cool i hope you guys got it again it was entirely based on observation if you do and also two very basic rules of sor bye bye take care if you guys liked it please smash that like button bye bye take care and do watch the experiences down below in the comment section